Tonight, police have released new details about a deadly crash that shut down part of a Woodford County road for hours. They claim to be cancer charities, but the attorney general says they built donors in Kentucky out of millions of dollars. Lexington police say they now have a suspect for a robbery that left a man collecting donations for veterans injured. WKYT News at 11. Good evening. We've had pretty calm weather so far this week, but that's about to change. A cold front is expected to bring storms to bluegrass tomorrow. And there's even a chance for some severe weather. We begin tonight with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey and your no wait weather forecast. Big storm system across the Plain States, guys, separating milder air, downright warm in some areas out ahead of it, and cold air coming in behind it. You get those two together, chances are, along with the cold front, you're going to produce showers and thunderstorms that can be strong and severe. Big, severe weather outbreak today across parts of the Plain States, Mississippi Valley, massive flood event underway into parts of Arkansas. Already out ahead of this, thunderstorms into western Kentucky now. Owensboro, two areas just to the west of Bowling Green, back toward Paducah. Very heavy rains with that. We will time those into town very late tonight, early tomorrow morning. Out ahead of this on your Defender Radar Network, late this evening, we try. To fire up a couple of thunderstorms here around the Danville area, uh, Boyle County, Perryville, just to the southwest of Harrodsburg. Not seeing lightning with that as of now, but a few minutes ago we were getting in on some thunder and lightning with that. Gusty shower right on top of Frankfurt. That will increase as we go through the next couple of hours. The main show, though, in terms of rain, will arrive late tonight into early tomorrow morning and especially centered across parts of central Kentucky. And behind that, we're going to break out into a little sunshine. That could be the fuel to the fire, guys, that could crank some severe thunderstorms as we go into late tomorrow afternoon heading into the evening. I've got a brand new hour-by-hour -hour forecast that will time the thunderstorm development both tomorrow morning and tomorrow evening when I come back at 11.13. New tonight, multiple tornadoes have been reported in Oklahoma and some were even caught on tape. This aerial video shows tornadoes forming in the Tulsa area tonight. Authorities say the tornadoes damaged homes and other buildings and destroyed some trees. They also say at least nine people have been injured and at least one of them critically. One of the tornadoes touched down not far from Tulsa's airport. A deadly crash shut down part of a busy Woodford County road during the afternoon rush hour. And tonight, we're learning new details about the investigation. Police in Versailles say a truck and SUV collided on US 60, not far from the Bluegrass Parkway. One person died, and another person was taken to UK hospital with serious injuries. Monique Blair has the latest in our top story at 11. It made you want to cry. To say the least. Many drivers saw a scene they likely won't forget Wednesday afternoon as rush hour was just beginning. First Hills police say just a few minutes after 4 o'clock, a blue Jeep Grand Cherokee was exiting the Bluegrass Parkway onto eastbound US 60 or Versailles Road, and a red GMC pickup truck was traveling westbound. For reasons not known right now, which is still what's under investigation, the uh, blue uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee crossed over into the westbound lanes and struck the red pickup truck head on. The Woodford County Coroner's Office tells me the man in the pickup truck, 53 year old James Couch, was pronounced dead at the scene. The driver of the Jeep was transported to UK Hospital. Now, both lanes of US 60 here at the Bluegrass Parkway were closed Wednesday evening from about 4 o'clock to 7 o'clock. Also, only one lane of eastbound traffic was moving during that same time frame, all of this causing a pretty significant traffic backup. Traffic stopped. And so then from there, just creeping forward, and Fauna came around and saw just one of the most horrific sights I ever saw. Horrific, yet also to driver Kevin James. Not something he's used to seeing on his daily commute. I travel that every day, and it's the first time I saw anything like that. It just blew my mind. In Woodford County, Monique Blair, WKYT. And we do not know the exact condition of the Jeep's driver tonight. Police are still investigating the crash. New tonight, Lexington police have named a suspect they say stole from disabled veterans. Police have obtained an arrest warrant for 38-year-old David Kirk Jr. He's now facing a robbery charge. Police say last Thursday, Kirk stole a donation jar from Veterans Outreach, whose members were collecting money outside the Walmart on New Circle Road. The jar had been bolted to the table, but police say Kirk grabbed the entire table with the jar still attached and put it in his truck. 
One of the men collecting donations was injured trying to stop him. They promised to use donations to help people battling cancer, but tonight investigators say four cancer charities operated by the same family were just shams. The Kentucky Attorney General says his office has joined other agencies around the country to settle claims against the charities and order them to pay back much of the money. As Garrett Weimer tells us new at 11, Kentuckians donated millions of dollars to these charities. The attorney general says the leaders of four charities made money off Kentuckians' goodwill and generosity. Now a settlement shuts down Cancer Fund of America, Cancer Support Services, Children's Cancer Fund of America, and the Breast Cancer Society. Shutting down this group was critical, and it's just an example of how uh, people try to scam. Uh, people through what look like legitimate charities. Attorney General Andy Bashir says nearly 150,000 Kentuckians gave more than three and a half million dollars to the four charities, which turned out to be shams. The president and others were getting paid a lot of money. Uh, the people they employed were getting paid a lot of money. The only place where a lot of money wasn't going to was, was, was the charitable cause, was, was helping people uh, with cancer or, or cancer research. The Federal Trade Commission says between 2008 and 2012, the four charities raised more than $187 million in donations. Yet investigators say only about 2% of that money went to any sort of charitable aid. You feel the trade. Uh, you feel taken advantage of when uh, people are giving their hard-earned money, uh, trying to do some real good in the world. And I don't want people dissuaded from giving to charity. Bashir encourages folks to research charities before giving. At the Capitol in Frankfurt, Garrett Weimer, WKYT. The Attorney General's website as well as Charity Navigator has tools to help you research charities before you give. You can find links to those resources on WKYT.com and the WKYT News app. Tonight, police are trying to track down the people responsible for what's being called a professional crime ring. The thieves target cars parked outside schools in Lexington and Franklin County. Police say that purses were stolen from Cassidy Elementary in Lexington, then checks from the purses were cashed at banks around central Kentucky. And in Franklin County, police say a similar theft happened outside a school cost the victim $11,000. Police released surveillance pictures of a woman who cashed the stolen checks. They say that she's trying to make herself look similar to people whose checks were stolen. Uh, we believe they come in from out of town. Uh, we don't believe this person to be local. So she's concealing her identity and traveling to different jurisdictions to commit these frauds. Police say they got the license plate of the car the woman was driving, but the plate had been stolen off a car in Oklahoma. The family of a Boyle County woman who disappeared more than 20 years ago hopes new evidence in the case will lead to answers. Anna Lee Manning disappeared in November of 1992. Yesterday, police searched a home near the Boyle Lincoln County line and said they found evidence in the case. Manning's cousin told us they hope to find out what happened to her soon. Just find one. And I pray to God, pray to God with all my might that they, they find something. The Boyle County Sheriff says examining the evidence found yesterday will take some time. A man who lives at the home didn't want to talk to us about the search. New tonight, Richmond police are looking for two people they say broke into a liquor store. Police released these two surveillance pictures of the suspects. Police say that last Thursday morning, the burglars broke in through a drive through window at Monty's Liquor on Berea Road. And while the burglary set off an alarm, police said the suspect still managed to steal 21 cartons of cigarettes. Today, Kentucky Congressman Hal Rogers led a congressional forum at the National Prescription Drug Abuse and Heroin Summit in Atlanta. He suggests a holistic approach to stopping America's drug epidemic. He also says the 2,000 people at the summit are sharing ideas about what can be done to stop drug abuse nationwide. So it's an educational thing for the people that are involved in fighting abuse all around the country from different angles, learning and sharing together. University of Kentucky President Dr. Eli Capilouto also attended the summit today. He called it a chance to learn more about the drug epidemic which UK is trying to fight. The summit wraps up tomorrow. Loud noises caused a scare for some people in Bath and Menifee counties tonight. Our newsroom received calls from people thinking they had heard an explosion, so we made some calls. Authorities tell us the loud noises were the result of gas pipeline workers doing routine maintenance on large transmission lines. 
They say there is nothing to worry about. Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump is coming under fire tonight for some comments he made about abortion. How his campaign is responding in nine minutes. And then what investigators say caused a large fire that destroyed part of a Kentucky recycling center today. Coal in Kentucky has been hit hard. We've exported coal for a long time, forever, for and over. So now what we want to do is export coal. See how one Kentucky company is switching from coal to coating, Thursday at 6 on WKYT. Kentucky mornings start here. Breaking in overnight news, weather to plan your day, plus traffic you can take with you. Make WKYT this morning part of your Kentucky morning. Weekdays from 4.30 to 7 on WKYT. They're coming from all over Kentucky because one of the biggest automotive events ever is back. It's the fourth annual Kentucky Car Fair at Toyota on Nicholasville. Through Monday, save 5200 off MSRP. Get 0% financing for 60 months or make no payments till summer. It's the fourth annual Kentucky Car Fair at the big Toyota store. Toyota on Nicholasville. The big Toyota store. Where price sells cars. Toyota on Nicholasville.com. It's early, and you need a breakfast built for work days, not weekdays. Say good morning to the three-buck breakfast with the chicken and gravy breakfast burrito from your DQ. Our famous chicken strip plus eggs, cheese, and pepper gravy wrapped up in a warm flour tortilla. Served with crispy hash browns and coffee, all for just three bucks. Now this is a breakfast built for work days. The chicken and gravy breakfast burrito, just one of our delicious three-buck breakfasts, only at your DQ. This is fan food, not fast food. There's a lot to see at Nissan Now. I'm turning heads. And there's never been a better time to get your new Nissan. Five exciting new models. This is a Nissan Now. Choose a 189 per month lease on the 2016 Nissan Altima or the 2016 Nissan Rogue. Hurry. Offers end March 31st. Shop your local Nissan store and choose Nissan.com. Now, your hour-by-hour -hour forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. Putting the wraps on a very warm and windy and overall nice day across the Bluegrass State. Late evening temperatures are still running above normal for the normal highs this time of year. Take a look at the numbers. Into the mid and upper 60s, barely getting below 70 in a few cases. And chances are, into the overnight hours in March when you're this warm, you're going to be ahead of a cold front and have the possibility of a strong thunderstorm or two. And that's where we're going as we head into the day tomorrow. A lot of the shower and thunderstorm action off to our west, but out ahead of this, we have been noticing a couple of wayward showers, a rumble of thunder occasionally with this stuff showing up from Franklin County down into parts of the Anderson County area around Lawrenceburg. A lot of lightning, though, into western Kentucky, Owensboro, west of the Bowling Green area, Hopkinsville toward Paducah. That extends back toward the southwest. This part of Arkansas getting absolutely hammered right now. We've had a major severe weather outbreak into parts of Oklahoma, Kansas, Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, Mississippi. You were seeing some of that video off the top of the show. All of that courtesy of a major storm that is winding up across the Plain States. What does that mean for us? This is going to be a big severe weather outbreak tomorrow. Right now, the odds say no. Can we get a strong thunderstorm or a couple of severe thunderstorms? That's a possibility. High winds tomorrow will be the main player with any shower or thunderstorm that goes up. And even without thunderstorms, you may have winds tomorrow at times approaching 40 miles an hour. And especially tomorrow evening, that would be our best risk for some severe thunderstorms. We get some action in the morning. A localized high water issue can't be ruled out in a setup like this. I'm watching that stuff to our west, and it's been overachieving in terms of rainfall, so we'll see if that's the case around here. I mentioned the gusty winds. Take a look at the numbers as we go through tonight into tomorrow morning. Numbers aren't as high as what this model was showing a little earlier, but still peaking the numbers around 40 to 45 miles an hour in a few areas as we go into the day tomorrow. Moral of the story, tomorrow's one of those days, both hands on the steering wheel, especially if you're in a high profile file vehicle uh, both hands on the hat as well. Showers, thunderstorms creeping into the picture early tomorrow. Initial ban coming at us between 7 o'clock in the morning and noontime. Eastern Kentucky may take into the early afternoon, but watch, uh, watch what happens to that initial line of showers and storms. Notice how it weakens as it makes its way through the area. 
You break out into at least a mix of sun and clouds tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures hit the upper 60s and low 70s. More sun you get tomorrow afternoon, better the chance for the atmosphere to kind of destabilize or rev up a little bit to give the evening thunderstorms a chance at becoming strong or severe. Now, are we going to get a big outbreak of severe weather? As I mentioned, that's probably not in the cards around here. Best chance would be to our west and southwest. Can we get severe weather? Yes, Michael will have the very latest coming up starting tomorrow morning at 4.30, and then we'll be with you if any storms do go up. Through Friday, chillier air comes on into town, and that takes us into the day on Saturday with temperatures only in the 30s to start out the day. Uh, with tomorrow's chance for some strong thunderstorms, don't want it to overshadow the green thumb alerts that we have out Saturday night into Sunday morning with 20s that will show up. Another shot of 20s Tuesday into Wednesday. I think another shot will follow that up by the end of next week. Moral of the story, we'll start the day tomorrow with some showers and thunderstorms, non-severe. If we are to get a severe thunderstorm or two, it's not a big outbreak right now that we're anticipating, but the best chance would be tomorrow evening. Just a bumpy day, sounds like Just a like bumpy day us. and a very windy day at that. All right, good deal. Thank you. you bet. A company says it has some new opportunities for people looking for work in one eastern Kentucky county. More on that in seven minutes. Out of respect for your time and for your convenience, at Gates Hyundai, we've clearly marked the selling price on every new Hyundai in stock. At Gates Hyundai in Richmond, you don't need to negotiate. Come in, pick out a car, you can be out in no time at all. For one weekend only, the Lexington Center is transformed into the biggest home and gardening event of the year. The Central Kentucky Home and Garden Show. Find contractors, remodelers, kitchen and bath, flooring, landscaping and outdoor living. Discover the latest inventions and smart products in the new product zone. Learn painting tips and tricks from Brian Santos, the wall wizard, and meet Jeff Lewis, interior designer and star of Bravo's hit TV show, Flipping Out. Find it all at one amazing show, the Central Kentucky Home and Garden Show. Toyota South isn't the number one or number two volume Toyota store in the area. I'd like to be. But my dad told me a long time ago, it's not the number of cars you sell, it's the number of satisfied customers you have that makes a difference. We're not in the big city, which means we just have to work harder, we have to keep our overhead low, so we continue to sell new Toyotas for less. Choose Toyota South on the bypass in Richmond. If you have a loved one in a nursing home, you already have the three most important tools for detecting nursing home abuse. Your eyes, your ears, and your nose. Hi, I'm Kevin Renfro. Keeping your senses alert to conditions that surround your relative can mean the difference between a safe, caring environment and instances of elder abuse. Go to BeckerLaw.com for details on what to look for. If you suspect there's a problem, give us a call. Serious, experienced results. Call the Becker Law Office. Just dial three. Hi, Shane Huffman with Neil Huffman Honda in Frankfurt, where today you can lease a brand new 2016 Honda CRV for just $2.59 a month. Plus, we're going to back all our deals with our 110% price protection guarantee. That's Neil Huffman Honda in Frankfurt. Huffman has it. When big news breaks, be the first to know. Download the WKYT News app and turn on push alerts. Breaking news at your fingertips when you need to know what's going on. Push alerts, now available on the WKYT News app. Out of respect for your time and for your convenience, at Gates Hyundai, we've clearly marked the selling price on every new Hyundai in stock. At Gates Hyundai in Richmond, you don't need to negotiate. Come in, pick out a car, you can be out in no time at all. Tonight, Republican presidential frontrunner Donald Trump is in the middle of another controversy. This time, it's over comments he made about abortion. Those comments came during an MSNBC town hall event in Wisconsin. During a heated exchange with host Chris Matthews, Donald Trump was asked how he would enforce a hypothetical ban on abortion. Yes, Do you believe you, in punishment for abortion, yes or no, as a principle? Uh, the answer is that there has to be some form of punishment. For the woman? Yeah, there has to be some form. The Trump campaign later issued a statement saying that a doctor or any person performing an abortion would be held legally responsible, not the woman. Republican rivals Ted Cruz and John Kasich later criticized Trump's comments, and Democratic frontrunner Hillary Clinton called them, quote, horrific and telling. New tonight, a Jefferson County judge could decide by the end of the week whether to dismiss a lawsuit against Katina Powell. In a book written last year, Powell claimed she was paid to bring women to the University of Louisville campus to dance for and have sex with U of L men's basketball players and recruits. 
Some U of L students and people mentioned in the book later filed a civil lawsuit against Powell. The students claim their degrees are tarnished because of the book's allegations. But Powell's lawyers say the students haven't presented any evidence of that. The judge is expected to decide whether to dismiss the lawsuit by Friday. New tonight, a man had to be airlifted to the hospital after police say an SUV hit him in Laurel County. It happened about 10:30 last night on Highway 552 near London. Police say the 20-year-old Joseph Rourke was standing in the middle of the road when the SUV hit him. He was airlifted to UK hospital, but his condition isn't known. New tonight, a large fire tearing through a recycling center in Hardin County. Firefighters say some pieces of product were set on fire for testing purposes at Osage Express in Radcliffe. But that fire didn't go out all the way, and it sparked a much larger fire. Smoke from the fire could be seen for miles. Firefighters say they got the fire under control in about 45 minutes. You can see the massive flames there. No injuries were reported. New tonight, some help has arrived in an eastern Kentucky county where many people are struggling to find jobs. Teleworks USA opened a new hub in Lee County today. People looking for work receive training at Teleworks, and then the company helps them find a job based on its partnerships. In the last year, Teleworks leaders say they've helped about 200 people find work at their other hubs in Jackson and Perry counties, and the company plans to expand. We're going to Boonville, we're going to go to Inez, and uh, possibly looking later on into Louisa. So we just hope to keep expanding that footprint just so we can continue to expand the economic impact of teleworks throughout the region. Company leaders say there are about 50 jobs available right now. Morehead State trying to end the season tonight with a championship, Rob. The Eagles traveling all the way to Nevada. It has been an uphill battle. And in Chicago, the McDonald's All-American game, Malik Monk showing his stuff in the United Center. Sports is up next. Stay connected to the news that matters to you. Follow WKYT on Twitter. We've been slow smoking over oak for more than 45 years. And while sticking to tried and true traditions is kind of our thing, it doesn't hurt to throw something new in the smoker every now and then. Come get some slow smoked chicken wings at Sunnet Barbecue. Order them as an appetizer or as part of a combo with pork, baby back ribs, or both. Starting at $10.99, Sunnet Barbecue, local pitmasters in 68. That's the sound of Sirius XM, controlled by the largest touchscreen in its class. This is the sound of someone blowing past the last gas station for over 500 miles. That's the sound of four usually rowdy kids enjoying their favorite movie. And together, these are the sounds of a well-executed automotive symphony. Returning FCA U.S. lessees can finance and get 6,500 total cash allowance on the purchase of the 2016 Chrysler Town & Country. Friday's Mega Millions jackpot is $50 million. Toyota's One for Everyone sales event is on now with great deals on your favorite Toyotas. But hurry, this event ends April 4th. Now get 0.9 financing for 72 months on Camry and Corolla plus $500 bonus cash. Toyota, let's go places. I love grocery shopping at Kroger, but sometimes life gets busy. So I use ClickList. It's easy. I just order online. And with thousands of great items and fresh food to choose from, I can get what I want the way I want it, then pick up my order at the store without ever leaving my car. And for me, that's a game changer. Order online, pick up curbside at store. We think you're going to love ClickList. Try it now at Kroger.com slash ClickList. The all-new Big M Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram is changing the automotive industry in Central Kentucky forever. Introducing Lifetime Warranty. It doesn't end after 10 years. It doesn't end after 100,000 miles. And it's available at no extra cost. 100% parts. 100% labor. Zero deductible forever. Visit BigMSuperstore.com. Shop the area's largest selection of quality vehicles, all with a lifetime powertrain warranty. Only at the all-new Big M Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Visit BigMSuperstore.com. The AFP has had its eye on her for quite some time. 
We were just waiting for the right moment to move in. The vibe was anything but playful. Go, go. Okay. We knew we had to move in fast, but there was a crowd, so we had to play it cool. This is where the years of training paid off. We got the scratch-off ticket to her in the nick of time. We're agents to play, man. People think this job is all fun and games, but we take our fun seriously. That's what being an agent of play is all about. Thank you. Just doing our job. Put a little play in your day with scratch-offs from the Kentucky Lottery. Fueling imagination, funding education. Toyota's One for Everyone sales event is on now with great deals on your favorite Toyotas. But hurry, this event ends April 4th. Now get 1.9% financing and up to 58 MPG on the all-new Toyota Prius. Toyota, let's go places. A big part of Kentucky's future on display tonight in Chicago in the annual McDonald's All-American Game. Four signees playing, and in the early going, Pan Adebayo going to work on the backboard. He gets rejected, but then he puts it back in and the foul. Adebayo playing along with Sasha Kalia Jones, one of his future teammates. He takes the pass inside, gets the easy lay-in. Down to the other end for the West, Josh Jackson with a lob to Malik Monk, who throws it down. Late in the first half, the West getting out ahead. Kalia Jones, the wide open slam down court. And in the second half, Lonzo Ball, who is going to UCLA with the lob to Monk. And then just moments later, Ball finding Monk again, and he throws it down. Malik Monk and his West team go on to win it 114-107. to 107. Bam Adebayo ended up with 16 for the East. Monk had 11. The Aaron Fox didn't have a good shooting night, but he did have seven assists. Earlier in the evening, the McDonald's girls game, and Lindsey Corsero, who's coming to Kentucky, getting the rebound, putting it back in, and drawing the foul. Into the second quarter, Miss Basketball here in Kentucky. Erin Bolin out of Elizabethtown knocking down the turnaround. She had 13. She's headed to Notre Dame. Later in the second, the East on the break. Corsero, who's out of Roncalli High School in Indianapolis, getting it easy to. West came back to win the game in overtime. 97-88. Corsero had 4.7 boards. She was on the bench, bench for lengthy stretches. Yeah, it's hard, especially when you go seven minutes. You know, we're all used to playing the whole game. You go seven minutes and you got to come in and be warm. So it's hard to get in the rhythm, but everybody's dealing with the same thing, so it's fine. A lot of great players, and there are some awesome highlights there. So I was just so happy to be a part of it. We didn't pull out the win, but it was a great experience overall, and I'm so thankful that I could be a part of it. Moorhead State trying to wrap up the championship of the CBI tournament tonight, but the Eagles would have to go on the road all the way to Reno, Nevada. So we go to the biggest little city in the world. MSU trailing by five. Anthony Alici starting from the left block and then finishing. He cuts the deficit to three. Nevada grows the lead to a dozen in the second half. DJ Fenner knocking down the three. Six and a half minutes left to go. Corbin Collins popping the three-pointer. MSU down only four, 61-57. The Eagles keep coming. Brett Arrington is good with a 15-footer, 62-59, but Nevada holds on. 77-68. Game three will be Friday night in Reno. That will decide the championship. This fall, Mark Stoops will not have some of the veterans on his defensive unit that he had last season, but he will have some good young players who gained valuable experience last year, like outside linebacker Denzel Ware. Ware found himself starting as a redshirt freshman, so with that, does he feel like a veteran? No, no, sir. I don't feel like no veteran. Why? Because, um, you know, I still got a lot to learn, you know. When you become a veteran, that means you know everything. There's no mistakes, no nothing. And I'm far from that. They're going to see a hard nose, tough football team. They're going to see some guys who, who wants to win. They're going to see, they're going to see players that, that, that wants, wants to get the job done. Kentucky baseball taking on Xavier tonight, scoreless in the sixth. Gunner McNeil with a shot down the third baseline. Ball rose into the corner. Javon Shelby scoring all the way from first. McNeil with a 20-game hitting streak going one to nothing. Cats. Two batters later, Riley Mahan lines his single in the left. That'll score McNeil. Kentucky starting to heat up, still in the sixth inning. Base is loaded for Tristan Pompey. And the freshman from Ontario, a double down into the right field corner.
Kentucky going on to win it 6 to 2. UK plays on the road in the SEC this weekend. Cats go down to Knoxville to take on Tennessee. Stay with us. Matt Jones is up next. Dare to compare. This LG 49 inch LED TV is $449 at HH Gregg and only $399 at P-Rex. Save $170 over Lowe's on this Maytag wash plus free gift cards up to $500. Nobody beats P-Rex. You may be entitled to $1,500 for each call you've received from any company collecting a debt. Seems too good to be true, but it's the law. Hey, good morning, Jennifer. Hi, Ashley. It's great to see you. We love Ashley. She's one of our regulars. Fresh from the oven. <laughs> At Kroger, we're family. And so are our customers. My mom always said, to have a friend, be a friend. Come back soon, Ashley. You know we will. Red, white, or black seedless grapes are on sale for just $1.68 a pound. And red tomatoes on the vine or broccoli crowns are only 99 cents a pound at Kroger. There are two camps of DQ S'mores Blizzard Lovers. Camp S'mores and the new Camp Oreo S'mores. Camp S'mores. Camp Oreo S'mores. Camp S'mores. Camp Oreo S'mores. Camp S'mores. Camp Oreo S'mores. Camp Oreo S'mores. A camp for the traditionalist and a camp for the adventurous. Which s'mores camp will you be in? Try the s'mores and new Oreo s'mores blizzard treat today. This is fan food, not fast food. It's hard to imagine what it will become unless you have been there before. How does this plan become what I had dreamed of? You need the right people to take you from the plan to the place. Design, planning, and building, all under one roof. KBC, creating homes that enrich lives. Want to fill your garage with the best value brand in America? Honda's got it. During Honda's Dream Garage Sales Event, get a brand new 2016 CRV, the number one selling SUV, just $229 a month. Or drive with zero down, zero security, and zero first month's payment. The 2016 CRV comes fully loaded with available Honda Lane Watch, brake assist, and more. Just $229 a month or zero do it signing. Honda's got it at your Central Kentucky Honda Dealers. Hitting someone at 35 miles per hour is like throwing them off a four-story building. A little extra speed is a lot more deadly. Slow down, Lexington. Get this Tempur-Pedic bundle with mattress, adjustable base, two memory foam pillows, mattress protector, and a free 50-inch TV as low as $49 a month with the power of 60 months, zero interest. Nobody beats the rats. With Kentucky basketball season ended, the next question is, who returns to UK? And the big question mark is Isaiah Briscoe. Now, Isaiah Briscoe has a weird decision to make. I think the kid probably wants to go to the NBA draft, but it's going to be very difficult for him to do it. He's a guard, and in today's modern NBA, a guard who cannot shoot is not very productive. He's a great defensive player, he's strong, and he has an elite NBA-level body, but he can't shoot. And I don't think the NBA is going to take him in the first round. Now, John Calipari was on my radio show the other day, and he suggested to me that there was a player who thought if he didn't go in the first round, he was certainly returning. I think that player is Isaiah Briscoe. That's good news, because I've always assumed Isaiah wanted to be in the draft. If he's now accepted that if he's not a first round pick, he'll come back, I think we see Isaiah Briscoe next year. Now, Kentucky's set to be loaded next season, but Briscoe's a guy they don't have. It's a guy who can play defense and is physical. Him returning will make the Cats even better, and I hope that's what ends up happening. I'm Matt Jones, and this has been Overtime.
Matt, thank you. And looking over your shoulder, Chris Bailey, mm -hmm. at the defender over there, we've got some uh, nasty stuff headed this way. You actually caught some of the lightning strikes on our live sky cam over our shoulder as well. And your Defender Radar Network picking up on a couple of showers and thunderstorms kind of popping out ahead of the main show around uh, the Franklin County area toward Anderson County. The main show, though, is out across western Kentucky. We'll see that on and off through the day tomorrow. But so. later tomorrow, you think, for a lot of Best this? chance if we already get some severe weather would be tomorrow evening. It's a small chance right now, but the chance nonetheless. Good deal. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. We'll see you tomorrow.